precise cell-cell communication is one of the most important things in multicellular organisms. Wherever you look, whether it's in the brain, or in a developing embryo, or in the immune system, you constantly see cells very precisely recognizing one another and speaking to one another in order to achieve the complex behaviors that we see in biology. As synthetic biologists, we've often wondered, is there some way for us to participate in this conversation? Can we learn how to reprogram how cells precisely recognize one another and what the messages are that they transmit back and forth? To do this, we turn to a classic receptor in developmental biology, the Notch receptor. The Notch receptor is very unique because uh, it mediates cell, direct cell-cell communication. When a cell has the ligand for Notch called delta on its surface, the delta molecule is able to bind to Notch and actually kind of pull on it in a mechanical way that leads to intramembrane cleavage. And this leads to the release of the intracellular domain, which is a transcription factor that can now go into the nucleus and turn certain genes on. What is remarkable is that you can remove the sensing and response domains from Notch and replace them with different recognition or transcriptional domains, creating a synthetic Notch, or what we call SYN-Notch receptor. These SYN-Notch receptors can detect a novel input and in response, activate a novel transcriptional output. The system is extremely modular. By using different domains, one can generate a large set of orthogonal receptors and pathways. It's amazing how you can change both the extracellular domain and the intracellular domain, and the receptor still works. What can synatch receptors be used for? Since their activation is dependent on direct cell-cell contacts, one can use them to drive spatially controlled cell fate changes. Here, the red cells are activated only when they contact the blue cells. When activated, the cells express the master regulator, MyoD, which drives the cells to form multinucleate muscle cells. It's possible that these sorts of responses could be used to induce cells to repair or regenerate tissue only where they detect damage signals. We can even use cascades of multiple synopsis receptors to generate complex, multi-layered spatial patterns. We were particularly interested in using synopsis receptors in T cells. One of the most exciting developments in the last few years is the use of chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs, to redirect T cells to find and kill cancer cells based on recognition of a specific cancer antigen. A major limitation of CAR T cells is that although they will kill cancer cells effectively, if normal bystander cells also express the target antigen, they can be killed, resulting in potentially lethal side effects. We thought that by incorporating synnotch receptors into CAR T cells, we could make them much smarter, making them dependent on recognition of multiple antigens. We designed a T cell that normally only expresses a synnotch receptor that detects one ligand, here the green antigen. But engagement of this receptor will trigger expression of a CAR receptor directed against a second antigen, in this case the red molecule. So only after detecting the first antigen will the cell become armed for killing. Because these T cells are basally unarmed, they should be neutral to bystander cells. So we made these cells and tested them in vitro, but we really wanted to see if they could discriminate between tumor and bystander cells in vivo in a mouse model. What we observed is that the engineered T cells essentially ignore the bystander cells that only have one antigen. But in the tumor, we see the T cells become armed and activated, and they begin to kill the cancer cells, eliminating the tumor in a highly selective manner. For the T cells, finding a cancer cell in the body is like trying to find one individual in a crowd. Just one feature, like a mustache, is usually not enough to pick that person out. 
But if you use multiple features, like a mustache, glasses, and red hair, the combination of these features can allow you to single out the person you are looking for far more effectively. These sorts of circuits will allow these T-cell therapies to be used in a broader range of diseases and could also be helpful with treating solid tumors which have been difficult to treat with the current CAR T-cell therapy.